to edit the cue that's already been recorded, we can simply select the playback that we want to work with. I've selected this Fly Out Blender, open up our Command Keypad, and press Edit, Q, and then we can press the cue number that we want to edit. Notice when we're pressing edit, it's asking if we want to bring just the active fixtures into the programmer or also the inactive fixtures. Bringing in the inactive fixtures as well will give you the full picture as to what's tracked through from previous cues, so I recommend bringing that in. Then you press the cue number. For this example, I'm going to press 2 and press enter. Now we've got our cue loaded in the programmer. We can go ahead and modify whatever we want to modify. For this example, let me take fixtures 19 through 24, these Mac Quantum profiles, and I'm just going to go ahead and change the pan and tilt. Now we've modified the pan and tilt on these units, and we're going to press update. When we press update, if any presets have been modified, for example, the pan and tilt were in a preset, and now I've modified the values so that they no longer match that preset, this window is going to pop up. It lets us know that preset references have been broken. The window then asks if we want to break the preset reference and create the queue but not modify the preset, or if we want to update both the presets and the queue, or we can cancel and get back to our programmer. For this example, I'm going to break the preset references. Then our programmer will clear out and your queue is now updated.